Hey everybody, this is Tara from paddedtushduts.com. In this video, I want to talk with you about the Lactaid Supplemental Nursing System. This is a great thing for people who may have low milk supply issues or people who want to adopt a baby but would like, still like that breastfeeding relationship. With this system, you're able to breastfeed your child by having this bag of formula or express breast milk. It goes I'll show you a little bit later about placement. Basically it goes between your breasts and the tubing runs along your nipple and goes into your baby's mouth. Just like that. That way as your baby is um, latched to you and getting some milk that you might have, your baby's also getting formula or breast milk that they need in order to grow and be nourished if you're having low milk supply. Don't let low milk supply get in the way of your opportunity to breastfeed. A lot of women have their hearts set on breastfeeding and it's so frustrating when they find out that they have a low milk supply. Trust me, I've been there and I totally understand. It's really frustrating. But this provides you with an opportunity to have that breastfeeding relationship. However, if you are having low milk supply issues, go see a lactation consultant and they can help you out with that. And some of them are familiar with the system or they're familiar with the Medella. SNS system, but go ahead and chat with those people. There are definitely some things that you can do right and some things you can do wrong with this system. With my first kid, I made a lot of mistakes and the bag ended up spilling and exploding all over a brand new laptop I had. But then, the second time around, I had a friend come over who's had a lot of experience with the Lactaid. She gave me a great tour and I haven't had any issues. So it's definitely something where it's worth getting some tips from people on what to do. Let's talk about how this is built. You have this top part here that's that's very intricately designed to where the flow's regulated and everything. Um, uh, this is an older model that has this little, this part right here, this tiny little piece, it um, unscrews. But the newer versions have this piece attached, just so that you know. And it, it they decided to attach it just to make cleaning easier. If I were to clean this, I'd have to unscrew it, and I'll go over that in just a minute. Attached to this is a tube. I've lost this tube before on mine, and I while I was waiting for a replacement, I just cut off a little snip of my breast pump tubing and it worked like a charm and it, it it was just about the same width and everything. So if you're in a pinch and you need to do that, that's a helpful tip to have. Another piece for this system is the washer. And the purpose of the washer is essentially, and I'll show you as we put it together, but it's going to help provide a seal to seal off that bag so nothing leaks. It is also nice because it has these little edges on it that make it to where the tubing can be put through here and the flow stopped. That way it's not spilling everywhere if you're not feeding your baby at the time. The system comes with these bags here and they come in 4 ounce and 8 ounce sizes. In my experience, I if I mix a 4 ounce bottle of formula, there's a little bit left over. It doesn't fill this completely. I mix mine in six ounce increments just simply because sometimes when we're out and about, I'll tell you why later, but I like to just mix mine right there as opposed to carrying the bag full of milk a lot of the times. So if I, I fill it with the formula, and I do six ounces so I can make about, um, for me, two bags at once, adding some of my expressed breast milk as well. So the tip is hold the bag by where this blue thing comes in and you'll pour it inside. Now the system comes with a little filter that you can stick inside of the hole here that makes sure that no clumps get in. I gotta be honest, I've even poured some in with clumps and I haven't had any issues with it getting clogged. So I just go without it because it's it always gets clogged, the filter does, and it's just kind of a pain to deal with. So I pour this in, it's a little less than what obviously I normally do. Then there's this little washer thing. Now I used to always try to get the washer on. I think this is what they tell you on the website. And then I try to poke this in and it's closed because the washer's kind of squishing it shut. So what I do is I take this, I call it a washer, but I take this and I put it up to where the ridge here is pointing upwards. This gives me an opportunity 
to thread this down. So kind of pinch the bag so that I get an opening. I push in the tubing and then see I'm able to thread it down and then at this point I take the washer and put it on like that. Now here's the tricky part that's going to ensure that you're not going to get any um, leaks or anything. You want to make sure that these two pieces are squished together and sealing off that plastic bag. So what I do is I take my fingers, two on each side of the bag, and then I take my thumb, thumbs up here. These fingers here are going to push the washer up, these fingers, as my thumbs push it down. So I'm just going to squish it like that, and there you go. Now I'm going to wrap it. This is a neat trick I learned. Um, you take this, I'm just going to wrap it around my finger here. <laughs> and wrap it around and there's these little grooves that you're going to pop the tubing in to seal it off. Just like that. One easy tip for you, well, let's first of all, we take off these little side parts. That's just to get it to stay on the roll. But if you have to do the full amount, like four ounces, I find that if you fill it all the way up to here, right where things start to go inward, if you fill it up to this point, then it doesn't it doesn't leak as much. It doesn't explode or anything. You don't want to overfill it. I also have a neat tip on how you can use this in your everyday life to where it's just like you're breastfeeding and you don't have to worry about, oh, is this showing? What you can do is you can get one of these bras that has the triangle part underneath. So, you know, a lot of nursing bras don't have this piece here. Um, make sure it has the piece right there. And in this little space right here is where you're going to stick the lactate. And honestly, at times, if I know my baby's going to be getting up to eat soon, I just already have this stuck down my shirt and people don't even know that it's there. And then you take the tubing and you slip it underneath this. This is going to keep it in place. You don't need any of that pesky tape that gets a lot of people raw and it's just a lot of extra work. Just slip it under here. It's going to hold it in place while you feed your baby. Now let me give you a heads up. In the beginning, especially with my guy six weeks it took, it's, it's going to take a while as they're working out latching issues, as they're learning to eat. You may not be able to um, just think of it that easily. I had to kind of hold it in place. Sometimes I had to hold it down as he was latching. So be a little patient with it, but eventually it should get to the point where your baby just knows that tube's there and will go ahead and latch right on. So run it along under that. One of the biggest issues I had was heating it up. I went from bottle feeding where I had the luxury of just pouring warm water in and mixing it or having a bottle warmer to then having this situation where I have these bags that I don't want to stick into a bottle warmer and risk any melting or anything like that. So what I found to work that my friend told me is that you stick this, stick your cup or your jar, whatever you have, under the sink, stick it on hot water, go change your baby's diaper, and by the time that you get back, it's hot. The downside of that is that you're wasting water. In my opinion, I just found that if I had to stick it in a cup of water and let it just sit there, it took forever and my baby was going crazy. So if you anticipate that your baby's going to be needing to eat soon, you can get it ready and have it just sitting in warm water. But I like to just keep it under the running water. And then by the time the diaper change is done, it's just about perfect timing and it's hot and ready to go. One of the downsides that people say with the lactate system, as opposed to the Medela system that has this reusable bottle, is that you have these bags that you dispose of that you throw away. I found that I can actually get a lot of uses out of the bag before I throw it out. So every night I take my bags, I fill them with soapy water, I really rinse them out, um, give them kind of a little bit of a squeeze to make sure water isn't popping out anywhere. And you can really get a lot of, of uses out of one bag. You just keep cleaning it and you're good to go there. Another thing a lot of people like about the lactate system is the ability to sleep uh, or lay down and nurse with it. This is good. Um, what, you, what I found though was that if I had it in between my chests and if it's nighttime and I'm not wearing the triangle bra that holds things in, then what happens is this keeps falling into my guy's face. So this is hi, me. Froggy. So pretend that's me. Hi, frog. Little girl says hi frog. Let's pretend that this is baby. 
So baby's nursing here like this. So again, if this is here, this falls on baby's face. What I did instead was I would lay the SNS up on the pillow, give you a good view of that, up on the pillow, and then I'd have the tubing come down just like that. On the Lactaid website, there's this tip on how to get air out of the bag so that your baby doesn't have any air bubbles. You turn the bag upside down, get the tube into that corner, and then squeeze it as the air, and let all the air come out of the tube. I just have to say, this was something that was causing a lot of spilling for me. So what I learned to do from a friend was to, instead of doing that upside down technique, just squeeze the air out right here to make sure there's no air and then put the system together. My baby hasn't had any gas, issue, gas issues and I haven't had any exploding. Cleaning it really is a breeze. The system comes with this bulb that you can use. If you have an older model, you have this bulb here and this bulb, um, you'll see, doesn't have this white part. Let me explain why that could be a problem. I would put this up here and it doesn't necessarily go inside of the tube. Instead, it's actually kind of up against it. So as I squeeze the water into it, what happens is it would spray all over the place. The new version has this white attachment and it's worth you buying from the store if you're gonna do this a lot. And the neat thing is it goes right inside so then you can squeeze it and everything goes right on through. One of the tips I gotta give you that I learned out uh, figured out on my own was one of the problems I was having is I would have a whole bunch of formula stuck up inside of this tube part here and the problem was then I'm just flushing it out down here so I'm forcing a whole bunch of formula out here it would cause a lot of clogging and it was just sort of a pain and it took a long time to do so what I started to do is I would hold this and I'm holding this to where the tube is stuck on here and make sure it doesn't pull off pinch the tube and then push outward. And what's gonna happen is everything that's in here, all that formula is just gonna come out. But what I found to be even nicer is that this force, this force here created some kind of a section that sucked up stuff that was in the unit and some stuff that was in the tubing and it would actually pull it out this way as well. So then you would just go through the system, take soapy water, stick it inside of here and flush it out and you're not dealing with as much gunk. So what I like to do is I like to let these soak in vinegar once every couple days, just like water with a couple little, like maybe a tablespoon of vinegar in a tub of water just to get stuff kind of loosened up in there. And then every day with hot uh, soapy water, I will fill the bulb up, stick it inside of here and psh, just flush it out just like that. So what my friend likes to do is she fills her pitcher up, she gets a lot of formula, and I really like this tip that she gave me so I wanted to tell you about it. You stick them open, you don't need to have the unit on it, and just stick them in your fridge. And she has a couple glasses lined up row, up in a row in her fridge. So then all she has to do is once she's done with one bag, then she can go to the next bag and she could just assemble the unit and put it in and, uh, and put it all together. In my house, I like to keep the lactate bags inside of these mason jars and I stick them in my refrigerator. And the neat thing about it is when I need to go somewhere, all I do is I stick on a lid, screw it on, and put it in the diaper bag. I like this because if I just use the lactate and put just the bag in the diaper bag, it's very likely that something will push up against it and it'll explode and you'll get formula everywhere. And I also was trying it in wide mouth bottles, just sticking it into a wide mouth bottle, but I found that this is a little wider than that. The, the lactate bag is a little wider, so it would squish with that as well. But this seems to be really great to use, and they're so durable, I don't have issues with them breaking or anything. If you've used this lactate system, if you can do me a favor, I would greatly appreciate it. If you could leave some tips in the comment section of either this video or the blog post associated with it, that would be fantastic. I think it would be nice to have a lot of these unusual tips on how to make lactates part of our everyday breastfeeding lives. If you have any questions about how to use the lactate system, I hope you won't hesitate to send me an email. I'm very passionate about it and I'd love to help you. Also, if you're considering ways to save money and you'd like to check out some cloth diapers, please feel free to check out paddedtushdots.com where I do cloth diaper reviews so that you can purchase diapers that meet your budget needs and also meet the needs of your baby. Thanks again and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.